Hey guys, this is Monroe1v1 and today I'm going to be ta talking about the new Modern Warfare game, Modern Warfare 2019 by Infinity Ward aka Activision, whatever you want to call them. So let's go ahead and delve into this. I'll give you my sources at the end of the video. Um, anyways, uh, the campaign will make you cry and feel very miserable and depressed. What I mean by this is that they kill and attack children. They have really realistic graphics, like if you shoot someone, their limbs will come off, and they will shoot, like squirt blood and have very slow and painful deaths. And like there's people who beg for their life, civilians trying to pull guns out on you, etc. Like I was listening to Drifter, and he was talking about seeing a level where uh, the SWAT team was going up a really small stairwell, and like someone shoots through the wall and nails a SWAT team member right in front of you and like it just gives you this like realism and like you have to spray through the wall and hope that you're not hitting civilians and it just gives you this like real realism of like what war really is like and they actually got like their ideas from live leak footage of war is what I heard. I don't know where that source is from. I, I just remember hearing about that. And no, oh, I think it was Drifter again. Anyways, uh, like you could see that they were watching the live leaks. You could see that, you know, it, it was like that. Apparently, I, I don't. I didn't really see it for myself. I'm just going off of what I researched. And and at one point, there's a woman who runs towards you, and you might think to shoot her because maybe she's going to stab you or she's going to like do something to you but if you just wait for a minute she goes to her children's child's crib and picks up her baby but like you know it really gets you thinking about like how the wars in real life really go down um but i just want to point this out i heard that it's really good graphics i'm not talking about like doom graphics or you know like days gone graphics or anything like that i'm talking about like this shit is on next level like it's gonna be shit the shit also i heard that it's gonna it's gonna have really good gameplay like really really good gameplay and it's gonna have a really really good story and it's mature too obviously i mean you just heard me talking about it it's going to be cross-platform with Xbox, PS4, and PC. And that isn't the last of the campaign I'm going to talk about, if I can get to it in this video. Anyways, it's going to be cross-platform. And to play on PC, you're going to have need really, really high specs. DLC is free post-launch. And there's no season passes. Night vision goggles in-game are in the game and you can't use the sights when using them like if you're using night vision goggles you can't look down your sights you can't really use your optics and that's really realistic and I like that one thing to really note is that the co-op in this game is not campaign co-op it's like the uh, I don't know what it's gonna be like exactly but as far as what I've heard it's gonna be like I hope it's open world, you know, but like, I'm guessing it's going to be because I heard that the map is huge. Um, Co-op has a map so big that it be, could be considered its own game. Like, and I'm getting some of these facts from like people who are in the developer team. Again, I'll source all my links at the end of the video. The multiplayer trailer should be in late Ju July, and the beta should be in mid-August, but that may change. Co-op might be might be launched later, since it's so huge. It's gonna have only modern weapons, and the FAMAS is confirmed. You have 100 HP, healing is automatic, recoil is heavier and more realistic, character movement speeds are normal. Many weapon accessories are you can use, and there's four slots, each fixed with its own type of accessory. 
Oh wow, I need to go research some more. Doesn't look like I'm gonna make it to the end of the video. Hopefully y'all like the music. Got the music from uh, NCS. Uh, like non -cop no copyright music or something, I don't know. Anyways, multiplayer. Cannot pick, cannot pick the map. There's no mini map except for whenever you get a UAV. There's no specialists. There are skills to each player that you can pick. Like you can pick certain people who have certain skills. Such as an upgraded version of Last Stand. And custom roles. There are going to be custom roles in the game. In multiplayer. Perks have active and passive skills and are different from character skills. And this is the last little bit I got. I, I'm gonna after this I'm gonna probably post a lot more of the campaign. Anyways, about the campaign. There are gonna be amputated limbs. Like if you snipe someone and get a headshot, the head will come off. Blood will spurt from their bodies. If you shoot them in the like foot, they're gonna bleed out. Like, you're, they're going to have a very slow and painful death. There's no campaign co-op, as I said before. And it's uh, terrorism or counter-terrorism themed. If you remember the, mo the mission in Modern Warfare 2, where you go and you have to be with the people who shoot up the civilians, that's pretty much this game. There's going to be three storylines, three protagonists, two men, one woman, and they interact with each other and converge at the end. The story revolves around the past and present between characters. Alright guys, I'm going to be right back as I go get some more information to fill out the rest of this video. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back with some more information about the levels. First off, the enemies look like normal civilians. It's like an alternate timeline for the Modern Warfare series. Price is confirmed and prominent through the campaign. You can pre-order it now. And will often have civilian tra tragedies. And here are the three levels. Well, I only recorded about two of them. And halfway through the second one, I figured that I would have already had enough content. But I can continue it if y'all want. Just leave me a comment saying that you want to hear about the other two levels. Or maybe you could just check them out. Because I am leaving the source at the end. Anyways, here's the first level. It's a brief section of a terror attack on a Piccadilly Circus. Um, which is a popular terrorist, ter tourist attraction in London. It's like London's Times Square almost. And I heard it was inspired by the 2005 London bus bombings. You play as a police officer following up on hearing that an attack will occur and when you arrive you find the terrorists unloading the bomb from a van. You approach them and they drive off. So you chase them. When other police come they decide to detonate the bomb and a really massive bomb and it explodes most of the area including the officers and plenty of civilians and you survive because you were chasing the van. Now the rest of the level they didn't get to see. But here's level 2, for the most part. The government responds to the attack by they, because they believe they have ID'd the terrorist behind the attack and tries to capture him, which he's in London. He's located in a low-income housing in, t in a townhouse. There's a room scale sweep and clear. The room scale is as in like a realistic size. It's not gaming scale like we were used to. And the map is really tight. The entire house is mapped from top to bottom. You can shoot lights, you can flip light switches on or off, you can, uh, you and your enemies can shoot through walls as I said before, you can breach doors, and every enemy in this level has their own AI. Shoot people and they will bleed out, crawl around for their guns, beg for help, choke on blood, blood might spray on the wall, etc. You, the police officer, Price, and other members sweep this building. And other SAS members, I'm sorry. Terrorists dressed as normal people in this, in this a three-story building. Most speak non-accented English, and many will pretend to surrender but then dash for their gun. Anyways, that's about it, guys. Here's the uh, links to the uh, people. They're in the description, too. Peace out.